Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Fever, and we're in Western Ways killing plus six dragons near the TOV zone line. So, we ended up getting a lot of dragons, I think uh, close to six of them, and we got several necklaces i think well i think i i know i got a necklace it, the name of the dragon that i got the necklace off of wasn't very special and that's kind of uh one of those things that um you get ragged on about whenever <laughs> we were doing this well it's not a good name it's not a good name or a strong name dragon um harladar that's a dragon that's that's the necklace that you want <laughs> but to be honest, it was an upgrade. It's so amazing, these necklaces, that I was not complaining at all of the name of the necklace as long as it was going to be boosting my stats. That said, what plus six means is that the necklaces they drop are plus six to all stats. And I believe you get um, maybe 25 or 30 hit points in mana as well. Really nice items. Before this, before the um, I actually started recording, we were doing a few kills, and I was still getting set up, and we ended up getting trained by uh, Rampage. Now, what was happening is that they were getting ready, I guess, or kiting mobs around because the Guardian was about to spawn, and we were playing on uh, setting up to kill the Guardian as well, uh, FTE and all of that. And um, they ended up bringing two of the level 62, I think they're called Ice Burrowers. Brought two of those, brought a Wyvern, anyway, got us all killed. About 10 minutes later, the Guardian spawned. We had a few people that were good to go. We were going to try to FTE, but we just didn't have enough people to get ready. And uh, so ended up losing it to him. I'm not going to talk about who it was that did it. I know exactly who it was. They ended up also, as we were trying to run away from the the mess, I think one person was trying to run away from the mess, and another Rampage person, a monk, came up and fade death right on top of them and getting them killed by another ice burrower so it was kind of uh like yeah we're gonna slap you in the face and then we're gonna um, make it hurt a little bit more i don't like that kind of policy of killing another group because of the fact that you want the loot off of an item do the actual fte process if you don't get the, the mob, then you don't get the mob. You'll get it next time. I'm not going to go into that. I don't deal with those kind of politics. I think it's just underhanded. And that wasn't the first time I've heard that it's happened. So uh, eh, I'm going to take it as that. Because I really can't say of any other instances where I personally had issues with Rampage. All right. So um, some other things I want to talk about. There was, um, an issue actually the same night as this. After I got done doing the dragons here, we, um, I was going to go ahead and transfer some of the items, or one of the items I ended up looting, a bracelet, a pair of gauntlets that I had on me, and a necklace over to my cleric. Well, <laughs> as I was doing my ground transfer, which is not covered by the policy, I don't think, uh, and don't expect to even get those items back. I went to camp to change over to my cleric, and the servers went down. <laughs> so, you know how you are whenever you're doing a ground transfer. If you've even done a ground transfer, you're freaking out the whole time. It took me straight back to the login screen. I'm logging in. It won't let me in. It keeps, and it probably takes a good 10 seconds for it to show you, but it feels like it's 20 or 30, and you get out of it. You restart your computer. You get back in, and it's still doing the same thing. And finally, finally, when it lets you in, it's like 6 minutes and 30 seconds, meaning that the item has already gone away. <laughs> so... Um, I ended up losing all three of those items. The good thing is, is that they are in this video. I can prove that I had them 
and uh, hopefully that will help me get them back. But if not, oh well. I'm I I have a necromancer. I can make the money to get the items back. The bracer though, uh, that was something that I just felt bad. I I got it for my cleric. Other people rolled on it. If someone else would have rolled on it, they probably would have not lost it like I did in that situation. But I've never really had issues with ground transfers in the game. But when the servers are messing up, and there were actual posts on Facebook on the Facebook uh, page saying that they were also having issues getting in. So I know it wasn't just me. Anyway, that aside, this dragon killing thing... It's kind of fun, I'm going to say, because you, whenever, whenever the game came out, whenever the highest level was 50 or 55, I remember that you, the whole point or the whole thing, whenever you got around level 50, 52, is that you were like, yeah, it's your first dragon. You can go and kill Vox. You can go and kill um, Nagafin. But here, those mobs are camped by the higher level guilds because they make level 52s out of the gear that they're getting for their level 60s. And they're taking those mobs away from pug groups. That is the mainstay of what that whole, that whole uh, fight was supposed to be about. But again, you can't control how things are acting on this server versus what you had back whenever the game started different communities, different situations. This may be how it was on your server. It wasn't on my server. I remember doing the two dragons every week in a pug group. Never a guild group, or if we had guild members, it was uh, like a group of guild members as a small portion of the whole that was trying to take on these dragons. I remember rushing in and... This is like the first time we're doing a raid. First time we're trying to take on a fight like this. And I, I, I have so on. I am running in. I'm good to go. And the first thing that happens is I get feared. And I'm falling into lava. And I'm dead. And now how in the world am I going to get this corpse back? Finally, they pull my corpse. I get rezzed. We have to reset. We have to kill all the um, kill all the giants again because apparently some are spawning here and there. And then finally we take Nagafin on again. Then people talk about having to turn off uh, so and turn on walk. And then <laughs> you get out there and you still get destroyed. And that was the fun of it is that while you were having to learn everyone was having to learn and they this pug group ended up just being a group of people that you got to know until you were able to take on and kill Nagafin for the first time and that was so fun and now it's we can't have that here because we have all these people that make their level 52s i'm not going to i i'm not complaining about that i think that if you can get the gear put that gear on an alt and your guild just happens to be one of the biggest raiding guilds on the server, then you're going to take and do what you can with it. Okay, those two dragons, the reason they're so still camped by those guilds are Cloak of Flames. You have the Salo's Drum. You have the, the, the horn, the best um, brass, I think it is, in the game. Uh, there's other items that drop off. I think there's a shield that you want to have. So it's not like I'm, I'm sliding them for wanting to kill it. I just feel that we as a community don't have a chance to have that old school back when we were kids kind of feel trying to take on those dragons because they're poop sock like everything else is on the server. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know why this got into that kind of conversation, but um, I've been just thinking about that. I, I really wish we would be able to kill those those dragons as a server and not as a high-level guild just making alts and doing it. You know what I mean? 
That said, I think there is a video of an individual taking on Nagafin by himself, but he had probably 15 to 30k in potions, clickable items, and so on. <laughs> I don't know what the point of the video is. I really just wanted to show you us killing dragons and having some fun with it and getting out and adventuring. And yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. But anyway, guys, if you have any questions, comments, if you think that my ideas are, are wrong or anything along those lines, let me know in the comments below. And I will answer them to my best ability because I answer all my comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.